Hi, I'm Ashish Kothari. I work with Kalpavriksh in, in India. Uh, for many, many years, we've been uh, struggling on issues of development, destructive development and inequalities and environmental damage and so on. And a lot of constant firefighting of uh, trying to respond to different kinds of destruction that's taking place. There's a certain frustration and so we felt also the need to actually look at what are the sorts of alternatives that people are coming up with, what forms of justice and environmental sustainability and meeting basic needs and so on that people are coming up on the ground all the time. But also to not just look at the practical side, side but also to see okay, what kind of visions are emerging, what is the sort of future for India or for the world that people are thinking of. So we decided that we should try and do a book on that and we gave a challenge to about 40 people working on all kinds of different issues. That's, that's the book that's come out. Uh, issues relate, ranging from environment and conservation to health, education, sexualities, gender, arts, crafts, uh, injustice against women, against uh, indigenous peoples, against Dalits and casteism and so on. So a really a very large range of uh, issues and basically challenging them to dream the future for India in 2100, whatever they want. And then come back down to earth and say, what are the pathways of getting there? What are things that are already happening that are actually showing us how to get there? So essentially, this book is an outcome of that. It's 700 pages, 40, 35 essays. And we hope that it will lead to some uh, interesting dialogue and discussion in India and outside on what kind of futures we want and what we can forge.